Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And we are back in our journal for just journal January. Got a lot of stuff going on in the kitchen behind me. Sorry that you hear that noise. But I have already cut up my week three freebies. So make sure to go over to our blog if you had not done that already and grab those freebies. Uh, we have free digitals every week this month of January 2023 and I will list my playlist for this Just Journal January collab that I'm doing with Scrapbooking With Me Crafts. Um, that's Miss E over there on her YouTube channel, My Mama. And I will do my best to get her playlist for Just Journal January in the description box below too. But go ahead and cut up your week three freebie two sheets. We got pockets and we got all kinds of little ephemera pieces. So go ahead and fussy cut all that out and meet me back here and we're going to add some stuff to our journals. And if you got some leftover fabric, get that too. If you are not a subscriber here at Me Crafty Scrapper, go ahead and click that little subscribe button. Click the bell so that way you get a notification every time I post a new paper crafting video, junk journaling video. Y'all are going to love what we have added to this journal. So y'all come along and journal with me. Alright, so all of that is cut out. I love these. So pretty. And I'm thinking that that's going to look really good right there. But we'll see. Um, I have, for my first page, I wanted to put a little bit of a border on this. And I've just cut some cardstock, just a strip of cardstock, and just wrinkle it up. Wad it up, wad it up, open it back up, wad it up, wad it up, open it back up. And I tore both ends. So now, I want to ink... the ends and then ink down the sides and then the part that will show on the other side of this page I'll ink that too okay so I'm going to put it on like that so the back side here will be seen so I'll ink that part And I'm just going to use my Barely Arts glue and put just a little line of glue down the edge here, but enough that it'll, you know, catch the whole piece because it is a little bit wider of a piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to place it where some will be hanging over the edge. I'll just wipe up my extra glue in a minute. And then I'll just straighten it up on the back side so there you see just a little bit, a little hint of it. And I'm okay if some of this kind of smooshes up and it's not absolutely straight because I want it to look rough and uh, homemade. So there's extra glue wiped off. I still love that. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put that on there and then put some kind of little word label in the middle of that. I'm thinking that's going to be beautiful. I'm looking over at my stuff over here to see if there's anything in particular that I think that I would love right across there but what I probably will do is get that little ephemera packet that Miss Katie made me and um, I'll get a word label from her stuff so I'm going to ink this all around the edges and go ahead and put it on. I love all of this here, so I don't want to cover that up. So I'll go off onto this a little bit and put that there. There's still plenty of room for journaling and stuff. 
and then I'll put on my word label. Okay, I've got that done, and I'm thinking from the week three freebies, I might add that there just to have something on this fabric pocket. You'll hear Lila in the background. Tap, 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 tap. Those little nails. She's going back and forth from the laundry room where her food is to in here where I am. I guess just to show me, hey, Nani, I'm eating. <laughs> but back and forth she goes. Back and forth. Back and forth. And then, of course, she is going to the front door, too, because she's waiting on Papa and Aaron to get home. So she'll hear his truck pull up and immediately start barking because she knows. She knows it's Papa. And <laughs> Aaron will be the first one to the door and he usually opens the door. Well, hi, Lila. And the whole time she's barking. And people are all the time, oh, you have such a great alert dog. You're, she's an alert dog. That is just her happy bark. She has the happiest bark. And especially when she, she knows exactly who it is. Somebody comes to the door. If she doesn't know who it is, you're going to hear a growl. She is going to growl on you. And then when she figures out, oh, okay, it's somebody that non ear popper somebody knows she is all about the happy bark so okay I've got that on I'm holding that up just a little bit because it is fabric so the glue's going through just a little bit so I just want to make sure that my pocket doesn't get um, you know closed up what I'm thinking of doing in here is some pieces of cardstock fold it over and put down in there because my pockets are so deep my front and back pockets are so deep that these beautiful tags are going to get swallowed up so I'll use these in my uh, pockets that I make on my pages throughout I love this I don't know that I'm going to do anything there um, these darling little pockets that are in the week three freebie. I mean, they're the designs on them are gorgeous. So I'm going to fold over one and then try my best to put it on straight on a page. I love that. And then you see one of these tickets here, or tags. Are you eating? Yes. Thank you for bringing in here so I could see. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> one of those, those tags. Cute. I like that. And maybe even um, I'll put a little faux stamp. We've got some of those too. Maybe a little stamp or something somewhere. I like. Beautiful. So I will ink that pocket all the way around. And then put my glue on my gussets. Built in gussets. Thank you, Miss Betty. right down there in the corner so we're still leaving good room for journaling i think i want to go with a lighter tag to go in there oh i like that yeah let's go with that one okay i'm going to hold that down let it dry really good or set up at least and then I want to get my hole punch and put some baker's twine through this tag. Okay. 
little hole and ink the edges. Okay, now let me find some baker's twine. It would be great if I had some like maroon, but I don't know if I've got any like that or not. Looky here. It kind of matches perfectly. This is not baker's twine. It's more uh, crochet thread. It's a little bit thicker of a crochet thread. I might have to do the larger hole. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to thread it through. And it is just paper, so you need to keep that in mind and be safe with your tying on of things because you might run into some torn paper if you don't be sure to be easy. Okay, there's one and then I'll be able to cut this down. I cut my string, try to cut my string if I have a good bit of it. I cut my string longer, y'all, because my fumble fingers, it takes me a little bit to uh, be able to tie a knot and tie a bow and stuff like that. So I I leave my length a little bit longer so I can have a good grasp on it. And then I just trim the ends. So there's that. And let's see here. I might use one of these little stamps that Katie had sent me. I need a little bit of color. Let's go with... Oh, I might put that on there. There she goes. Somebody's at the door. I might put that on the tag because I love that and I don't want to cover that up. So I might just put that on the tag and just let it hang off the edge there. I'm good with that. Let's do that. Hang it off. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. So see, it pays to go ahead and put your tag or whatever you've got in that pocket. Go ahead and put it in there so that way you know how you need to um, decorate it. That's pretty. I like that. So didn't really do anything there. We've got that there and I'm probably going to have to put more than one tag in there for that one to stay because that is a the pocket I printed on cardstock so um, just putting that one piece of paper down in there probably not gonna keep it in too much oh I like that and maybe hang the butterfly off this is just a little um, extra piece from the last video that we did of the little things that we done here Oh, that would look good there, too. I like that. I'll find another butterfly, though, and put there. But have that butterfly just kind of hanging off that way. I love that. And this is just decoration. It doesn't have to be functional, everything that you put in your journals. I've told you all that over and over and over. Don't look for functionality. Just look for um, what you like. Because a journal is supposed to be written in, so... If you're decorating every piece of the page, then that's not functional either, <laughs> even if it is pockets. You want space to write on. I'm going to just barely do a few little ink spots or places on this. I don't want it to be too overdone. And just put my butterfly. This, I'm pretty sure, came out of one of Miss Betty Ann's printables. If it's not hers, it is from Miss Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. But it was just a stray one sitting on the edge of my desk. And I was like, okay, I'll use it in this journal. I'm good with that. Now, I tend to go in the bottom right 
corner of my pages when I'm doing any kind of um, decoration or anything like that. You go wherever you want to on your pages. See, we just barely got a little bit. Okay. Now, on this page, I want to do a fabric piece for the border and kind of wrinkle it up a little bit. So I'm going to do a piece about yay wide. It's very windy here. My wind chimes are going crazy. Okay. And then I'm going to figure out what spots I want on here. I want this down here on here. So I'm going to go just a little bit longer than what the page is because I am going to ruffle it up, wrinkle it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go cut it across there. And then get my fabric glue that is <laughs> look at that it was stuck to a pin get my fabric glue and I'm going to get me a run of glue right down the edge of this page if I've got enough left out of it I forgot to tell them I needed some of this before they came home so get a good run good thick piece of fabric glue. We have this in the shop at scrapbookandwithme.com. Uh, we have Fabrifix and Fabri-Tac. Um, both are wonderful. Um, I think the only difference is Fabrifix will not adhere wood. Fabri-Tac uh, will. Um, I'm not in the market to get wood <laughs> attached to anything a lot, so I just go with Fabrifix. So see, I'm just putting the fabric on, and then I'm, with my nails, just kind of rouging it down. Okay. Just like that. And then I'll pull this up some. Like that. So it gets you a little bit of a ruffly look. I love that. And so then you can go in on the edges and any place that's sticking up too much on the inside of the page here, you can glue down some more. Well, I don't know what that was. You can glue down some more just like that. And you can even glue down your little wrinkles that you've put in it just like you want it. And I'm okay with it sticking up. Um, off the top and the bottom and I'm okay with it sticking out on the edge there and to give it even more um, sophistication and character you could sew this fabric before you put it on the page now I do know some youtubers that junk journal that actually put their fabric on on the edge of their page and then take their journal over to their sewing machine and they actually sew the page while they're at their sewing machine while it's in their journal. I am not that talented. Um, I would rip the page out of the journal. I would mess up and go off to one side and get it totally off of the fabric. So <laughs> I ain't gonna do that one. I would mess that up totally. So then when you turn the page over, you've got some of that fabric showing on the outside here. And then when you close up your journal, look at that little accent you get there. So I love that look. I love when stuff is sticking out of the sides of the journal. That is so pretty. I love that. So we're going to let that dry. This is from the last video I did with the vellum embossed pocket on that envelope flap. Love how that turned out. This needs a little something something on that side, I think. 
let me see here another one of Katie's stamps that she sent me I think will do the trick with one of the pieces of ephemera from week three's freebie and I will ink both of those and this is just a decoration I guess it could be a tuck if you didn't want to glue it all the way up you could do like this and have it as a tuck but I'm okay with it just being decoration okay and then this piece this is uh, printed on cardstock like I said earlier and this piece is just on paper but I have never found it difficult to put the things together like that doesn't matter to me so okay that dresses that up just a little bit I think this side needs a die cut or something and then maybe um, a word phrase or a sticker or something down here okay a little specimen card and a little floral piece from the field note snippets uh, pack from Tim Holtz I'm just going to ink all of these pieces these are a couple of pieces that Miss Katie sent me any die cuts will do you don't have to have the same die cuts that I have I'm just going to dirty this one up just a little bit and glue everything on okay there is that one decorated okay and then let's go to this page and I love these big pieces the little journaling cards from week two and I thought maybe I could put one of these pockets on that would hold that but I want to say that these pockets are a little more narrow so we can make our own pocket and put here so let's use some of the scrap cardstock that I've been using on other little accents throughout this and let's go with oh I like both sides of that mmm yeah I think that side I love both sides but I think that side and if I get the glue just barely on the edges I think it will be perfectly fine this is um, a, a piece of scrap from blue fern and the collection was called bird waltz and it is since discontinued but it's just one little piece I had left and I had cut in a perfect little square so we'll take advantage of that and I will ink this journaling card I don't do a lot to the left side of pages I just find those better to leave for journaling okay so let's do I'm going to do the eighth inch score tape and the reason is I can, I can control that better then I can liquid glue so we're just gonna do that so 8 inch score tape across the bottom and the sides I'm gonna do a little notch at the top just a tiny one ink that and get my backs off and get that put down and when you're putting pockets on pages go with the page not the bottom of your journal go with where your page is because see that page is has went up some somehow when I was putting that signature together so I just make sure that I'm even Stevens with the bottom of that page and not my journal because if I would have put it straight with my journal it wouldn't look right on that page so I'm burnish that down 
with my bone folder and then hope to the good heavens that that goes down in there well and it does yay oh i love that one very pretty and scraps so double thumbs up for that one love 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 that and yep yeah, that's just going to swallow that one up that's a big pocket so we're just going to leave that like that and i might put another one in there too just to have two little dollies like that cute let's ink that one I'm going to do another fabric edge in just a minute but when I do my second or third one usually I try to do three so I've done that first one there so then I look through and see where I need to put another one so I think I could do three and I think the back one would need to go here so I would put the last one here and then I just need to figure out where I would want to put that third one I want it to go behind this tab so I might go one page behind the tab and that is a music page and I'm not going to put much on music pages so I might go ahead and just put one on that one or I might just go right there it'd be easier in my mind to just go right there <laughs> so then I would have fabric picking out here fabric peeking out right behind that tab that I put in there and then fabric in the very back I think that's good so we're going to go ahead I'm going to put my little tool right there so I can make sure of where to put that last one and I'm going to go ahead and cut two there's one I'm using all the same fabric for my edging in this one just to have a little cohesive look to it. You can use whatever fabric you have. Um, Y'all know that from that journal um, kit, the scrap kind of put a stash kit together video that I did. Um, let me get this barrette up out of the floor. Lala found that somewhere but when I made that stash kit video I put you know four or five different kinds of fabric in there in those kits just so that you can have options keep your options open y'all keep those options open so I want to go ahead and do my other fabric borders page borders that I want to put in here and that will you know kind of eliminate a couple of pages for you so you know oh that's got fabric already on it so I don't need to put anything else on that one and it kind of helps you keep everything cohesive <laughs> all right so I just want it barely sticking off at the top and bottom so if you want to put it on at the top and then put it on at the bottom and then kind of start scrunching, that works. I want a little more scrunch right there, so that needs to come up some. And then whatever you like. If you're grungy, leave the strings from the, the fabric. If you're not, you know, you can just clip off just a few of them and leave just a few little strings if you want to do that. I need to scrunch that up just a little bit more before that fabric fix adheres everything on me and then you want to open up that page and make sure nothing is stuck back here and you want to make sure you don't want to pull over your fabric any more than it already is and see I can see the page right here 
so I want to pull that over just a mite so that my fabric is peeking out all the way down and not just in certain areas. Okay, it's just barely peeking out over here. I want to pull that up some and scooch it over. There we go. That's better. And now it's showing all the way down. So there's another one. So see, you got one there, one there. And now let's go ahead and put on this one. Oh, it's in where we've got that. There. Do we want to go back one instead of doing that one? Think it'll be fine? It'll be fine. Let's go back one since we already had we had our little tip in on that page. So let's go to this one. And I really want that up there. This is some pretty fabric, Miss Betty Ann. You did a good job. Of course, this is a beautiful digital kit, too. All of her fabrics are from digital kits made from, you know, designed from digital kits that she's already got in her Etsy shop. So, this is a beautiful digital kit and beautiful fabric. Okay, I'm going to keep this close at hand. So, if I need to do any more. I'm going to do it right there and then start scrunching. Beautiful. And then pull it up and make sure that it's showing on the other side too. Oh, that one went on good. Now I need to go back and do this on that other that middle one too. I'm going to come in here and lay down my edging so that nothing, you know, kind of gets hung up in it. That's pretty good right there. And then go back to this one and do the same thing. Scrunch that up a little bit maybe. Okay, and right here, here we go. So we've got the fabric edging that I want throughout my journal. Look at that. That's a gorgeous little side view, if I do say so myself. I love that. I love all the little strings, the fabric showing, the little clips, my tabs. So cute. So cute. And it's already starting to be a little chunky monkey, y'all. That's great. I love that. Okay. Now, let's go back to where we left off. There's our little flip up on that page. So, I can go to the next one and do something else. Maybe let's do a tuck. Let's just do a side tuck here. And I'll use some of this. Hmm, do I want to use that or do I want to use this pretty vellum? I have had this vellum in my stash for years and never used it because it's so pretty I didn't want to use it. But I think I'm going to use it on this and make a little side tuck. But it's It'll be a tuck that you can see through. I love that. Okay, let's cut it there. And let's make a pencil mark. And cut there. And I probably won't be able to see my pencil mark up there. With my trimmer. Oh, don't you love it? That is so pretty. Okay, do I want it that way or this way? Oh, I like that way. Okay, and then I'm going to get my fabric glue and put this on. I just like fabric glue with when I'm putting on vellum. And I'm just going to go on all three sides. 
and then at the top and bottom just a little line there goes somebody's children with their loud vehicles <laughs> we do live out in the country and we live in Alabama so that is expected around here I'm going to pick that up make sure that it is on the page really well and not hanging off and then not stuck to another page so that's good I'm going to let that dry before I put anything in there but I've got that open right there that would be so pretty with some really big uh, journaling spots put in it oh that would be so pretty and then we can put a little I need to push that over just a little bit don't I we can put a little die cut of some kind on there Ooh, I like that little piece of doily and then that die cut there on it sturdy up the um, pocket too I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this doily and then we'll put more where we need it after we get this put down see I tell y'all I'm I tend to go lower right quadrant <laughs> when I'm putting decoration on a page so then I'm just going to cut off the excess of this doily and then go back I'll use that again in this book and go back and add more glue where needed and then I'll add on a little Tim Holtz word phrase just to kind of get that lift that brown up some put a white one on there Let's see beautiful little tuck space right there but like I said I'm not going to put anything in there right this moment because I'm afraid I will pick it up too much I'm really not wanting to do anything to these music pages that is so pretty unless I were to do another little border um, not of fabric but uh, like this here we go if I can get it out from under all of my other little scraps that same uh, paper that we done some pockets and stuff with maybe adding a little scrunch border to the edge of that music paper that'll work and maybe just like a little half inch doesn't have to be anything too wide just to give the music paper a little something something and I'm going to scrunch this one up like I did that first one from the cardstock so I'm just wadding it up and then pulling it back out and doing the same thing about five times okay and then I'm just going to put a little line of glue down the edge of my music paper start that right up there and go all the way to the edge and it's already scrunchy so you don't even really have to scrunch it up if you don't want to and then I'm just going to tear it across the bottom get off any excess glue that you got and that just gives you a little something something to another page and you can move it over just do it as quick as you can move it over how you want to okay and then I think I might even put something right up here I like that a little stamp that came from the week three freebie I'll put it here and just gives a little something something to that music page Okay, now we're in the middle of this signature 
and I'm thinking maybe I'll just put a die cut up here in this top left corner. I've been putting everything in the on the right page and now let's put something on the left page. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get glue all over my fingers. If you don't have glue everywhere, are you truly junk journaling? <laughs> if you're not constantly doing this, trying to get the glue off, are we really trying our best at junk journaling? I'm going to ink this page up just a little bit. Just to give it a little character there. I love that. Just leaving it with one little die cut on there. Uh, we did something to the other music page. So I'm thinking maybe just putting um, one of these other pockets. Here is a corner pocket. She made us all kinds of pockets, y'all. Let's try that on this one. I love how neutral these are. They go with any journal that you're making and you can put pops of color throughout your journal however you want to. So there is a cute little corner tuck pocket. I'm going to ink that up. I love that walnut stain inked on that. Very pretty. So you could make this a top tuck if you wanted to, just like that, and have something tucked up in there, or just a bottom tuck like this. I love it. I'm going to put it on there, and guess what? I'm going to use my 8 inch score tape, just because those gussets are bigger, and it takes a little time. I have to sit and hold it and hold it, and in a video, we just don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to put my 8th inch score tape on the gussets and get this little tuck put down there. Okay, got that on there. And then see, it will hold quite a bit. I could probably even put, as long as they're just made out of paper and not cardstock, that gusset holds loads and loads of stuff. You could even, look at there, Put the bigger, that's why, that, that goes it, that corner tuck. Um, that's why I do love corner tucks. It doesn't really matter how big the thing is that you're wanting to put in there. Um, a corner tuck is going to hold it. Look, I mean, that's big. And that corner tuck is holding that. I love it. I think I will leave that in there like that and ink this just a extra piece of card stock that I had left over from things I was doing love it and let's do this little 21 cent on the pocket and we could always put some coffee dyed paper or something on the back of it to have that as extra journaling space too Okay, and I think I'll just leave that. This one has that four pocket book page. So we can put a tag down in there or journaling space, journaling spot, whatever, down in there. Um, we can put extra stuff that we have cut off like this little wood grain piece of paper goes down in there nicely i will cut that into a tag shape um if i could find some little bitty ooh, i love that tim holtz wallpaper that is some pretty stuff that would be beautiful in that and see the back is white so you could do whatever you wanted to. Let's do this at about four, maybe. Might be too big. Oh, it would almost fit. 
let's do a folded over piece in this one. I think I've got another four page, four pocket book page in here somewhere. Maybe I don't, but I thought I did. Oh, I love that. Let's move that. Let's do that in there with one of these tags here. Do that over this way. Yeah, fill up some pockets, I tell you. And then we could flip this over, do that real tall, do the other piece, fold it over, and put in there. Of course, you can go back and ink up all of this stuff if you want to. I love this. I'm a sucker for library cards, and I love that as is, just put down there, not pasted to a page anywhere. So I will leave that like that, and I think I'll put that little bitty ticket on the bottom of this book page pocket. Now, if you missed the video where I made this pocket, I'll have all of them linked in the playlist down below. This would be cute. Put across here. It's another thing that come from the week three freebie. And just put glue along the back of it. It's so slim. I'm not going to put any kind of ink on it. I'm good with it just like that. Well, I would be a little bit better with it if I had it right side up. So let's flip flop that around and hope my glue holds it. It does. <laughs> uh, let's make this into a tag shape. I'm going to go like that and then hold that over this way like that and get my hole punch a halt of it as we say down here in the south and I'm going to ink that I'll ink the back too And then get some of that same Baker's twine like I used earlier. And thread that through there. Not doing the whole library knot thing, just doing a double knot. And I'll just hold it up to the top of that tag. And then bring it around town again. Tie it tight. And then cut off my excess. Now that is a cute little grouping of stuffs. And I think on this one, I'm going to get a little piece of this fabric. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to staple this fabric to the top. I'm going to twist it like a bow tie and then up like that so that you can see both the front, both fronts on both sides. <laughs> uh, and then my little middle part come undone when I let go of it. So I got to do one more staple and I'm good with that. Usually I do temp two Tim Holtz staples anyways because they're so tiny. Cute. Let's do that one on top there and there. Look at that little book page pocket. How nice and full it looks now. Too sweet. 
and of course you know you could decorate up even more than I do that one on the back side kind of looks a little plain Jane so if you wanted to do another um, tag of some kind like this one and then you could have that string on this one too and that way you've got it dolled up a little bit on the back side let's ink it up first don't worry I'll go back and ink up everything else that I've got in here too okay and there is that little pocket filled up cute so that pretty much does it for my first signature um, I've got this envelope there'll be a couple of more little I might put some die cuts or another one of those pockets on these back pages I've got this envelope here that I need to decorate and then have that as a pocket there this front of it would go let's see that would be very cute to have a pocket on the front of the envelope and I'll get some scrap paper too and do like a little collage on the front of the envelope Okay, I've got that collaged and added just a little bit of um, some of the strings from the fabric onto that pocket. Added the other side of that dolly that we used earlier. Uh, one of the three week, week three freebies. And then I can put a couple of pieces down in that pocket and fill it up nice little collage of notebook paper that had just had some random um, die pieces put on it like just from ink and stuff and I really like that fabric on that and I used the glue stick to put that <laughs> to put that dolly down and the glue stick came through the dolly a little bit so I just put some more fabric pieces on it and it works so there's the front of that envelope decorated up I've still got to do you know some kind of decoration I'll probably just put another piece of cardstock scrap cardstock on the back here and I'll probably add another pocket or two to this signature and then that one will be done and then I can go on to signature two but I will have my full flip through in next week's week fours um, video after we finish all of our decorating and uh, if we want to do any kind of mixed media or anything like that and then we've still got to make our stuff to go in the front and back pockets so we still got quite a bit to do but I think that that's good for this video I got you lots and lots of need ideas and I need that to dry <laughs> so I will see you in the next just journal January video and that will be week four's video who knows we might have two next week also we had two this week for week three but I'm loving that I'm loving how it's looking love all the stuff hanging out and you'll get a flip through of everything next week. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, if you're making a journal along with us, you need to use the hashtag JustJournalJanuary so that mom and I can find you and leave you some love. God bless. Bye, y'all.